Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 37 of Book 3, which states that if we have a circle and a point outside the circle, if we have a line DB that falls on the circle and another line DA that cuts through the circle, if the condition AD times CD is equal to DB squared, or in other words, this distance multiplied by this distance is equal to this distance all squared, if this condition is true, then DB touches the circle. So to prove this, the first thing we're going to do is draw a line from D to E, where DE touches the circle, and we will use the methods described in Proposition 17 of Book 3. So now DE touches the circle. According to Proposition 36, that means that this distance, DE all squared, will be equal to DA times DC. If we look at these two equations, it's clear that BD squared is equal to DE squared, or that BD is equal to DE. So now we have DE is equal to DB. Carrying on, we're going to draw a line from E to F, where F is the center of the circle. According to, according to Proposition 18 of Book 3, if DE touches the circle, then the angle DEF will be a right angle. Now let's look at the two triangles DEF and DBF. We've already established that DE is equal to DB. Now BF is the radii of a, the same circle as EF, so those two are also equal. So now we have two triangles with three equal sides, since DF is common, and we know from Proposition 8, that if we have a triangle with three sides equal to another triangle, the angles on the inside are also equal. Thus, DBF is a right angle. Well, if DBF is a right angle, and since B is at, the, is at the extremity of the diameter, then by definition 16 of Book 3, DB touches the circle. So there we have proved that db touches the circle, and we've demonstrated this proposition. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the Next button.